on the campaign trail. Donald Trump addressed the police shootings and violence in America today and told Fox News he might bring back a policy that was deemed unconstitutional. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron has the story from Pennsylvania. In the battleground state of Pennsylvania's western mining country for the first day of fall, Donald Trump held off energy remarks to first discuss the latest police-involved shooting and ensuing rioting in Charlotte, North Carolina. Our country looks bad to the world, especially when we are supposed to be the world's leader. How can we lead when we can't even control our own cities? Trump promised to implement a national anti-crime agenda and wants to activate in places like Chicago a crime-fighting tactic that was halted in New York City. I would do stop and frisk. I think you have to. We did it in New York. It worked incredibly well. And you have to be proactive. Boosted in the 90s by then New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, now an ardent Trump ally and constant campaign companion, stop, question, and frisk was controversial and ultimately deemed unconstitutional by a New York federal judge and ended in 2013. The White House pounced. It might lead one person to conclude that the politician's more interested in playing politics than finding a solution. Trump was in Pittsburgh to court blue-collar energy industry voters at the 2016 Shale Insight Conference where he slammed his rival. Hillary Clinton's war on energy will cost our economy five trillion dollars at least. She's not only declared war on the miners, but on all oil and natural gas production. It's war which supports 10 million jobs in the United States. Despite decades of job losses in the nation's increasingly automated coal industry, Trump promised to create jobs and boost the energy sector. I'm going to lift the restrictions on American energy and allow this wealth to pour into our communities, including right here in the state of Pennsylvania. Trump's been off the airwaves in the battleground states for at least a week, in some states much longer. He plans to resume TV ads in his four must-win swing states of Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina before Monday's first debate against Clinton on Long Island. But otherwise, Trump's only on national cable TV, radio, and the web. Clinton's campaign schedule is much lighter than Trump's, but she's out advertising him 5 to 1 nationwide. When asked yesterday by an Ohio reporter why he flip-flopped and admitted last week that President Obama was born in the United States, Trump didn't say because it's true, only that it was hurting his campaign. Well, I just want to get on with, uh, you know, we want to get on with the campaign. And a lot of people were asking me questions. Trump aides took note today of Hillary Clinton's absence from the trail today, right up and through until Monday's debate, suggesting that either she is raising expectations dangerously high for her performance, or she needed more rest recuperating from her bout with pneumonia. Brett? Carl Gammon with the Trump campaign. Carl, thank you.